and we're back with Jay. No, 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 no. I hate it when that happens. I hate it when my spoon falls into the lake of oatmeal. No, it's so gross. And I had to use the paper towels, which I don't like using. Guys, we hardly use paper towels at all. We get normal rags just so they're reusable, they're more effective, and it saves the planet. Welcome to day number 10 of Vlogmas. Sorry about yesterday, it was kind of a downer. Guys, we all have certain days where, you know, we just can't even. And uh, selling the car on top of that just, it made for a day that I really shouldn't have made a video. But I did, I gave you a little update, I told you about what was going on. Now, now I'm here and I'm more enthusiastic than ever. I gotta tell you about this breakfast. So guys, oats are insane. The macros on them are bananas. They have so many carbs, they have a, good, a pretty good amount of fat, and the protein on them is insane. I way overshot my protein goal in this bowl of oats. Like, I'm eating 50 grams plus of protein just from oats. So I put, right, what we have here is five cups of oats, a little bit of the peanut butter powder, uh, almond milk, dana, dates, vanilla extract, I put some creatine in here, chia seeds, and I, I counted all the calories, and assuming I could eat all this, which is actually not that much, this is 2,000 calories. Like, oh my gosh. That's that's a good start to the day. That's a really solid start. Maybe maybe too solid to start. I'm gonna start getting fat. I'm I'm excited for it. I haven't even taken taken a bite yet. Let me give you my review. That's really good. The peanut butter makes it. Without that, it'd be really hard to pound through. But I I need to eat this. No smoothie today. I just really wasn't feeling the smoothie thing which is okay, you gotta switch it up, you gotta give yourself a little bit of variety. The good thing with the smoothie that I like about it every morning is I put probably anywhere for two to three cups of spring water in it and it really helps it out with um, the hydration. So I, after I eat this oatmeal, I gotta, I gotta compensate for it and I gotta drink a good amount of water just uh, so I have a good amount of energy, energy throughout the day. Today's plan, I need to go out to my grandma's and I need to get her freaking old 89 Toyota Corolla to drive around in because I need some sort of transportation. I'm gonna look on Craigslist, maybe find a bike for around $200, $300 just because it's it's been really nice here and I don't have a bike currently because someone freaking stole it last year. Can't believe them, unbelievable. But I think biking would be a really good thing to do. If I could bike to my workouts and then do the lifting, get just a little bit of cardio in. I think that'd be a really, really good way to um, uh, spend uh, my time before the workouts. I'm gonna go to the grandma's. I wanna go test drive a Subaru Crosstrek today. Yeah, it's gonna, it's gonna be packed. If I have time, I'm gonna squeeze in a Boulder Movement Collective class. It's a lot more enthusiasm today than yesterday, which is great. I'm very excited about it. Okay, I gotta eat this oatmeal and get my day started. Well, I did it, but it, the thing with oats, after a while, they just start tasting like sludge and it becomes Yeah, exactly. But I did it! Yay, 2,000 calories in my belly to start the day. That means I can kind of take the rest of the day a little bit easier. If I just have to get a 1,000 calorie meal in for lunch and a 1,000 calorie meal in for dinner, there's my goal! You know that one day, a long time ago, my dad taught me that whatever you make your bed to look like, that's what your day's gonna look like. So if you make your bed all crappy and gross, then you're gonna have a crap and gross day. You gotta make sure to always be meticulous about making your bed you want to guarantee a good day. And the funny thing is, I am very superstitious about that for certain tournaments, like for example, all the tournaments that I was in the lead for going into the final day. Even if I was at a hotel, I'd just absolutely meticulously make my bed just so I could 
have a good day. That's the way my mind works. So if you want a clean round, you might as well be making your bed nice and crispy. All blankets laying flat. And hey, you might go bogey free. Each wrinkle, each wrinkle in your in your sheets is gonna count as one bogey. You don't want that. You gotta, you gotta really, really emphasize flat sheets, good folds at the ends. And I'd say, I'd say that right there is about a, I'm gonna have about a 1035 rated day. Or I could fix that. See the pillow right here is a little bit saggy. I could even that out just a little bit. And voila. I think we're gonna have a good day. That was just a little homework workout that my trainer from Bella Strength gave me. I put it off all weekend. I go in tomorrow to Bella Strength. So what I did was he wants me to do like these lift, like plank twists with uh, some weight. He says I'm supposed to do a 7.5 pounds, but I only have a 10 pound weight. So I did it with those, but I just uh, five reps, four time, four sets. And then I did the those those rows like this and then bring it up here and then supermans all of it's to strengthen my shoulders and spine that's all that oh, that's all i'm doing right now i'm strengthening my shoulders spine and hips the one time i did play disc golf which was saturday i threw some distance shots and oh my gosh i think the the training's working i was throwing the disc very well very far so that's only exciting news now i might go i'm gonna go look at a car so that'll be fun i don't know if we'll buy it but i at least want to look at it and maybe test drive it are you happy my bed's made nice today the dallas cowboys how about them cowboys how about them cowboys no i i'm not that kind of cowboy fan I'm not that, how about them Cowboys kind of fan. I'm more like, man, they suck. What the hell? What's going on? Oh my gosh, it's so tempting. It's beautiful. Yeah, post in the, post in the comments below. No. Yay or nay? He I doesn't like when I do that. I don't like that. You know why? Because there's going to be some people who are just like, Oh, Subaru, don't get it. It's a piece of crap. Subaru cross track all day. It's the best car ever. And then you're going to have other people just being like, no, you can't do that. You just, just no. But it's beautiful. Except that I don't leave a review. I just move on. I just enjoy it. These people write like books. We've got solid 36.5 miles per gallon. He gives it best Subaru I've ever owned. I just got home. Oh boy, I am driving a 90 or 89 Toyota Corolla right now. So I, w I went back in time a good freaking, how many years? 20 years? That's that's really fun. Yep, I was driving a 2009 Toyota Matrix, now uh, 89. Toyota Corolla, but it's fun. It feels like I'm driving a paper plate or in disc golf terms. Let's just say my Matrix felt like, the Matrix felt kind of fairway driver-ish, maybe like a slightly beat up FD. That was a good like comparison, what the Matrix was. What I'm driving now is probably a old school, maybe, it's like a DX Cobra. That's a good way to put it. Still drives pretty good. It's fun to drive. It's a little dirty. I'm gonna give it some TLC and uh, we'll see what happens, but 
Hopefully in about, I don't know, a week, I'll have a new car. Uh, I went to the credit union and I talked to them and getting a loan and all that stuff shouldn't be a problem. By the, by the time Vlogmas is over, I'm gonna have a new a new car. So that's gonna, that'll be fun. Now I am, what am I doing? I'm gonna go on a run with my friend Claire and then when we go vacuum up my car and do all that good stuff, maybe bounce some balls around. If I feel up to it, maybe a Boulder Movement Collective class. I probably need it because that coordination sucks right now. Yeah, I have a busy rest of the day. I'm looking forward to it. One eternity later. All right, getting like a, probably like a three and a half, four mile run in a day. I'm not really focusing that much on cardio. A little bit. Your cardio is good for recovery. So that's probably the main reason why I'd want to use it. But mainly focus on strength, resistance, coordination, style of training. But I do like cardio because it's easy. I got this thing freaking washed and looking like a champ. Let me tell you, I have the freaking coolest 1989 Toyota Corolla there is, dude. I need a name for this. Maybe that'll be the question for the day. When I wrap up the vlog, I'm gonna do that. You're gonna name this car. Okay, I gotta drive home, I gotta make dinner. A lot of carbs, beans and rice is probably what's on the menu for tonight. Edit, yeah, no bowler movement collective class for me tonight. I have had kind of a busy day. It felt good though. High spirits, a lot better than yesterday. Yeah, and I do, I'm in a freaking hot rod right now. I can't believe it. This car is absolutely bad. All right, time to go home. Oh boy, here we go again. Yeah, killing it already, just shredding, shredding, shredding. Oh boy. Now, here, oh, oh, killing it, killing it, killing it. Ho, 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 ho. Nope, not killing it that much. The heat check was there, but I, I failed the heat check. I failed the heat check. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. So, I got. You need to contact me if you win discs. You really do. Super E, or what What are your name? What are your name? I got the comment right here. It was two like two videos ago. He says, never. I never win anything for it. I want to show it off to my friends. You want this DDX here, and I have not got a message on Instagram or Facebook. So send me, you got to send me a message within the next two days or else it goes back into the pot. You're gonna lose on it and you're not gonna win anything yet again. Get on it, super E420. Message me Instagram or Facebook to make this thing happen. Yesterday I asked you guys what you wanna see from Vlogmas. You guys, you went, you went hardcore in the comments. There's already over 250 comments. So you, the fan base is ridiculous. I picked the winner to the from the comments there in order to win this SG line MD3 or MD1. The winner is Jacob Ryan. And he wrote, can we see your dad's in the bag? I want to hear what he throws. And that's a great idea. That's a really good idea. And you know what? We're going to do that within this next week. So you can look forward to that. I think that's going to be that's going to be a hit because I remember David Lazat he did an in the bag, which is Simon's dad, and it was really funny. But I appreciate all you guys commenting on that last video. Give me a lot of good ideas. I'll, I'll do a good bit of them. As for like having my grandma and other family in the vlogs, I don't think they really want to be on camera, so I'll refrain from doing that. And like showing you my practice routine in the winter is really tough because I don't really have one. As bad as that sounds, I'm just focusing pretty much all my efforts into strength training and I play disc golf when I can. I'm sure once I get a little bit closer to the actual season, probably like midway through January, 
I'm probably gonna incorporate a field work session in and a putting session. Until then, I, uh, I'm not entirely sure what what my training entails on the, the disc golf side. Mainly, I'm just, I'm focusing on all movements, resistance training, and uh, uh, things like that. Okay, I was hinting at it earlier in the vlog. In order to win this prize, it's uh, a soft P-Line P2, a new release from Discmania. You guys are gonna comment down below, what should I name the 89 Toyota Crapola. So comment down below and uh, I'll pick a random comment tomorrow and you have a chance to win this. So congratulations Jacob on winning this SG Line MD1. Message me Facebook or Instagram, Super E420. Message me if you even want that disc and uh, yeah, you can win this tomorrow. So until tomorrow, which will be day 11 of Vlogmas, thank you for tuning in and uh, make sure you subscribe because we're almost at 10,000 subscribers. That is, that's a lot of fun. All right, peace, keep on dreaming.